الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله with so much uncertainty in the world so many things going on so much confusion so much fitna fitna between Ahl al-Sunnah fitna between the Muslims killing one another extremism terrorism all the confusion and then living in societies where so much time is spent on materialism on material values on accumulating wealth accumulating property and conscious efforts to busy us with things of the dunya to busy us with things that confuse us things that encourages us things that encourage us to be away from Allah azza wa jal this is one of the challenges of the mu'min daily and the challenge is especially for the youth how do you stay away from fitna how do you stay away from having a girlfriend or boyfriend how do you stay away from the social pressures how do you practice your islam with all of that confusion and with all of those distractions the prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam said that islam began strange and it will return as something strange so give glad tidings to the strangers so this is why you see the value and the beauty when you meet people from ahlus sunnah when you see those people who are really trying to adhere to the religion that they give you the salams for the sake of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they know you're a muslim they see you're a muslim and they say assalamu alaikum not based on your nationality not based on your color that you're Pakistani, that you're Indian, that you're Beng Beng uh, Bengali, that you're Somali, or whatever, but rather they give you salams for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this time of confusion. And that they tamasik bi sunnah, that they adhere to the sunnah. In fact, my heart becomes open whenever I say, see a believing woman in the west and she's wearing hijab a proper hijab in my heart i'm so happy and i feel that i'm a defender of her in that sense because you see that she is trying to adhere to islam in very difficult circumstances and that's why the believer is like a traveler in this world and if we can keep that in front of us that can help us to stay focused the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said a dunya sijn al mu'min jannat al kafir that the this life is a prison for the believer and it is the paradise for the disbeliever so they're going to get their enjoyment in this life Whereas the Muslim, they control themselves in this life. They have to habs nafs, you know. They have to restrain themselves in this life and give up some of the delights of this life in order to gain the delights of the hereafter. So we have to keep that in front of us and, and constantly remind ourselves. that our purpose is to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone wama khalaqtu al jinna wal insa li abudun have not created mankind in a jinn except for the purpose of worshiping me so keeping that in front of us keeping that as a guide keeping that as a focal point can help us to organize the rest of our lives around that important fact and we ask Allah the almighty 
to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us with ikhlas, with thabat ala sunnah. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.